Okay, um, to answer this question, show that for a random sample from a normal population, uh, the sample variance uh, S squared is equal to summation of xi minus x bar, then you square and divide by n minus 1, when mu is unknown, is a consistent estimator for sigma squared. So the first step is to show that s squared is unbiased, estimator for sigma squared. So to do that, we need to take an expected value of s squared, where is it equal to expected value of summation of xi minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1, right? So we take out n minus 1 outside, n minus 1, expected of summation of xi minus x bar, then you squared. So uh, we can do it straight away or we can apply prior knowledge. We know from the prior knowledge uh, from the moment, uh, second moment about the mean, about mean, expected of xi minus mu squared is equal to sigma squared. So we try to add some conjugate inside this expected value. So conjugate is going to be mu since mu is not in there so expected of um, don't forget the summation let me do it properly uh, summation value here why so uh, x i minus mu minus x bar minus mu and you squared taking a squared here so this and this are uh, equal, right? So from here, we try to expand our formula. So expected of, um, let me take just in the value inside the expected value. So xi minus mu minus x bar minus mu. And then this is squared, right? So is equal to x i minus mu minus x bar minus mu then taking another one right and showing you properly minus x bar minus mu right so now it's become x i minus mu squared minus 2 x bar minus mu x i minus mu and plus is uh, x bar minus mu square. So put it again into the formula. So let me do it here. 1 over n minus 1 expected value. Don't forget the summation. Uh, summation um, x i minus mu square minus 2 x bar minus mu xi minus mu and plus x bar minus mu squared right so here we try to do some manipulation simplify the formula right um, so 1 divided by n minus 1 expected of summation uh, xi minus mu squared Mm. So this one going to be uh, variance already. It's equal to variance. Right? Let me use another color. Uh, use this one. So variance. Uh, so this one. This one we need to do some expansion. So I just want to make it look like this. So I can simply add and minus. Just like that so like this so don't forget the summation we bring along so negative 2 summation of x i minus mu x bar minus mu 
So this one is going to be negative 2 n x bar minus mu. Right? So get a, we need to put like this. So the summation is going to be n. Uh, multiply with uh, n. Uh, let me put outside so we can do it very clear. So n. So multiply with x bar minus mu, x bar minus mu. Right? Can you see it? So this one n and summation of x bar x i is equal uh, divide by n is equal to x bar. So n x bar is equal to summation of x i. Is it? All right. So it become negative two n. Uh, oh, multiply with x bar minus mu squared. So we have a leading hint over there. So this one and this one is same. So we can put here two n x bar um, minus mu squared plus uh, this one should be summation of somewhere so n x bar minus mu squared right so now we try to simplify it 1 divided by n minus 1 expected of um, so this one should be equal to n sigma squared n sigma squared we know that so this is n expected of x i minus mu is equal to sigma squared so minus uh, n uh, expected of x bar minus mu squared so here expected of x bar minus mu x bar minus mu squared is equal to sigma squared over n right this is based on sampling distribution formula based on second moment about the mean uh, so so is equal to 1 over n minus 1 and this one n sigma squared minus uh, so n sigma squared over n right Don't forget the bracket so it's equal to sigma uh, sorry n sigma squared minus sigma squared divided by n minus 1 so this one should be equal to n minus 1 sigma squared I take out the, the sigma squared over there n minus 1 so can simply cut off the n minus 1 so it become sigma squared so now we prove it s is unbiased estimator of sigma squared right okay uh, so the second step is to find let me use another color to find variance of sigma S squared uh, variance of S squared so the variance of S squared is equal to variance uh, summation of x i uh, sorry x i minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1 so we can take out the 1 divided by n minus 1 squared variance of summation of x i minus x bar squared right so we know that from the prior knowledge uh, variance of summation of x i minus x bar squared is equal to uh, divided by n minus 1 is equal to 2 sigma 4 n minus 1 so this is known all right uh, so step number four Three, uh, try to find the limit of uh, variance s squared equal to zero. So limit and 
approaching to infinity, variance s squared. So we know is equal to zero since n is uh, denominator. So we can say that uh, s squared is consistent estimator for sigma squared. That's all. Thank you.